Watch this! Gul'dan! Alright. Your stones shall be mine! I definitely keep the Reno. I wonder if the ooze is worth a thought. The three drop, but um, there are better options, right? We want some AOE removal. This guy's pretty high up. I'm assuming he's even shaman. Zola the Reno, sure. We have turned our curse into our strength. Goldan's a bit early. Uh, we really need to find some like corrupting mystifile, even BGH or Doomsayer. Hey, there's Defile. That's good. Uh, if we can find an early demon for that. Yeah, I don't have an answer to that. Oof. Okay. Godfrey is good. Uh, so we want to go uh, Void Caller into Question Mark. Possibly into Reno. We can use the Void Caller to set up a, uh, a Defile or. Yeah, this uh, this will work. We can use Defile to clear this now. Uh, so if he doesn't devolve, we're fine. If he does devolve, we can still just uh, like. clear most of this, I think. I I think I tap because I have the Reno. I don't want to play the Death Lord because I it's a bit of a liability with so many big minions available to him. Yep. Devolve is a card. And I've got the Godfrey behind this too, which is a fine Zola target. So I think just not dying is the play there. If I can get the Gul'dan down, I'm in business because I, I bring back so many high value minions. Yeah, this looks like a pretty clear Godfrey. And I can go Zola. He might just like Jade Lightning it. Uh, but if he doesn't, I'll go um, Apple Bomb into Zola. If he does Jade Lightning it. Yikes. Um, miss? Thank you. Uh, so we have the twist. We can go twist into um, into things. I don't know. I think we're fine still. It's probably the worst target for that. I don't have a Godfrey clear. Look at me. Because of where that hit, so it's probably just going to be a twist. I like being able to twist with the Doomsayer, and that's why I'm a little bit disappointed about this, but he's only got four cards, and I've got Gul'dan, so that should be enough to seal it. This curse has become our greatest strength. A bargain forged in blood and Void Caller now pulls the Dreadlord, and we just start uh, biting him. We've also got the BGH for his next large threat. Even if he devolves this, it's... It's just fine. Like, I get an 8-drop and a 3-drop. I mean, he knows we have the Godfrey, right? Okay. This is fine. Let's take this a little bit slower. Let's actually 
fight here, try and preserve some of our taunt minions a bit. Like, there's just no losing from here. Probably throw this out to uh, not have to worry about it. That should be GG. Even with that. Could be GH that. Um... Honestly, I'd rather save the BGA, like, because... I don't know, let's think about this. I've got nine damage showing. So I can bite and then full trade these in. Basically what I want to play around is uh, Death and Decay plus uh, Doom Pact. So two, five. Let's go ahead and get a 10 pot here. 8 damage is honestly fine. Yeah. And then... We can play this as well. But we just set up a kill here soon. Doom Pact, it's a bit of a bummer. That's really the only uh, good outcome for him. Nice. Good matchup for us. Good game. We might get counter queued here. Nope. For Doomhammer, your skulls shall be mine. I mean, this is a bit ambitious, right? But I think just all of these are fine cards on curve. I could have even considered keeping the um, the gnome just because it puts minion pressure in play. But like, there are there are better cards for this matchup that I would rather find. But we get the gnome anyway, so sure. Yeah. That fills out our curve a little bit. I um, don't know how useful it'll be, but we're probably just following this out. Uh, we want to find some AoE at some point. Shadow Bolt's good. It deals with um, that or one of those. And it just kind of gives us a, a turn... It also deals with the totem golem. We would have had a defile play there. Um, so if he jade lightnings this, that will give us a defile play. And that's pretty good news for us. If he doesn't, then uh, he has to kind of trade awkwardly into this. I could Hellfire into Shadow Bolt. Or I could just Kazakus, and if I whiff, I can coin out the uh, the Siphon Soul. So I think I'm going to Kazakus for a 5 pot. Look for this. Perfect potion. Oof. Okay. We're definitely still in this. Even if he plays like a second big boy, as long as he doesn't get a taunt totem in, in addition to it. So we take nine. I'm okay with that. Portal is fine. Full clear is fine. Uh, we know he runs Rag and the Lich King, so I'm going to want to hang on to this. Probably just uh, roll out a Rin, and um, that way I can use this to fill out my curve a little bit better in the future.
I can eventually create some problems uh, with defile just be for him, just because it counts up, right? So I might have a defile into uh, apple bomb turn. So he's on two cards, so I think Hellfire Defile is fine. I can't make a three. Actually, I can make a three. This is better. We've got Siphon if he has a big boy here. I don't need to, um, to tap. That's way too aggressive. Yeah, now I can go... Hellfire into Apple Bomb. And even if that's now a big boy, we still have the Siphon play. I think just getting this dead is fine. I'm going to run out the uh, the Nazoth here. Yep. We get two taunts. One of which heals us. And I can just banker the, uh, the Nazoth if he doesn't deal with this. I don't want to play the, um... I don't want to play the Death Lord yet. And I want a chance to draw into that Nazoth, I think. Void Lord is great. Uh, let's kill the, um... Let's kill the Spell Power because that could be a bit threatening if he, like, devolves into... Um... Into Burst. I don't think it's likely, but it's worth playing around. Let's kill this, or play this out first. Hit here. Here. Now we can go, yeah, that's just game. Beautiful, beautiful.